I want to read the comment section with a lot of joy, right? I don't want to read two comments, please. See? When we talk about Jesus for a minute, talk about Jesus in the music, talk about Jesus, talk about Jesus, he's a wonderful savior. When we talk about Jesus for a minute, this video is going to be like 100% honest, 100% vulnerable. Hi, <laughs> good day, and welcome to my channel. I trust you're all doing well by god's grace and that everything that concerns you is well if you are new here my name is precious and i'm a youtuber from ghana and i film content on faith and lifestyle please subscribe to my channel for more faith and lifestyle content if you're an old subscriber thank you so much for sticking around through my absence and through my whatever thank you so much i really appreciate it on a more serious note leave a comment right now though you've not watched leave a comment i don't know find something give, leave a comment about how i'm looking or something <laughs> and like this video and share it with your friends if you're an old subscriber i think you should unsubscribe right now and then subscribe again because i've been away for a long time and everyone is saying they're not getting notifications i posted a video around the end of last year it looks like people don't even know i had posted a video so yes please do that and let's move on as you can see in the title i'm going to be filming about this i don't want to waste too much time i'm on a 20 minutes timer interesting thing i already filmed this video and i decided to not use it the content was on point but just didn't like it. it was a little blurry i decided not to use it and i'm filming again so i had to do this makeup almost a week after i filmed that video and where exactly what i want for that video but anyway whenever i move around now wherever i go to if i have to check messages and stuff almost everything i'm being asked is where are you what's going on it's been a long time are you still on youtube when are you going to come back are you ever going to come back uh, are you fine those kind of questions right i hope this video is able to address everything first things first by god's grace i'm not done with youtube i'm still filming i mean i'm not filming but i'm starting right youtube is not something i would move past or I'll move away from i believe i'm called to evangelize through social media so some way somehow you'd always find me on the internet preaching jesus christ right so yes i'm not done with youtube i've been on a break the reason for which i've been on a break is lengthy somewhere mid 2019 it was like almost everywhere i would go to whenever i speak to anybody there was just a particular thing i was hearing i don't know if that's what they were saying or i was just hearing that right i, I was always hearing things along the lines of the motives why you are doing certain things what are the reasons for which you are doing whatever it is you are doing i won't lie around that time i started to pray because like i was hearing it everywhere my spiritual father and pastor prophet Anastasia, whom I respect and love so much by God's grace, like was preaching a lot around this. I think in that season, this is what like that's what God wanted me to hear. It had reached a point where I, I just discerned that it was something God was speaking to me personally. So even if I was to pray in that moment, that was all I could pray about. Like Father, search my heart. What's in my heart? Reveal the state of my heart to me. Try my thoughts. Because of that, I even ended up going on fasting, like everything i was praying about my only prayer points through most of those first way father revealed the state of my heart to me i shared this prayer point with i think two or three friends around me this video is going to be like 100 percent honest 100 percent vulnerable i'm not going to lens my words or try to cover up something i'm just going to be direct and honest as possible so help me god that's what i was saying i started to pray and you know what's funny i don't know if i thought that god was a joker or what because it's different if the trinity or the godhead is trying to form something in you and then you are not aligning with them but the moment you start to align or give them permission through prayer because that's one of the essence and the, the functions of prayer when you start to pray god's will you've given him like permission to do whatever so this is the dramatic version i prayed a prayer that god was trying to um speak to me about i prayed something that god wanted to make manifest in my life and just like that he answered a prayer in i don't know i don't know how long my life literally got red 
this is the most like this is just how i can describe it my life got rigged and it's like heaven was just waiting for me to just pray the prayer everything just started to turn around like every single thing it really before i realized like i didn't know what was going on like what's this like what, what am i seeing what is happening here like i don't even recognize this territory and i'm talking about the state of my heart he started to open up my heart to me and my intentions and other things in my heart that i never even thought were there you can get to this place where that's one thing i was always afraid of when i was starting out this journey you can get to this place where everybody has good things to say about you that's all they say and it's not bad god has just made it appear like that but when you get to those kind of places one thing you, you don't have to forget is your story your identity like what brought you here how far you've come not forgetting that story and always making sure that that story is before you in order to humble you and in order to not get lost in like people's opinions and thoughts of you because sometimes people can see all manner of things about you then it starts to mess up with who you really are like who you are as a person right so anyway i don't know which timeline we are in now i'm the one who is always preaching don't argue with god um, if there's a problem anyway it's from you the, there's no problem in god if you are going through something it's always from you god is not the one behind whatever i always say if god says it's blue it's blue if it looks red it looks red but it isn't red god started to reveal the state of my heart to me and i started arguing with him i'm like fam that's not me that's what you are saying that's what you are seeing but that is not me like i'm not that person i'm not some because like the picture he was showing was like a proud bitter and angry and hurt and broken young woman and i'm like nah that's not me like i'm not broken i'm not that head like oh no i'm not that head and he's like showing me things and i'm like no that's not me i'm not bitter my heart is not heavy that's not me like you are pushing an identity on me look at me this is my heart i'm telling you and it looks like a joke right but i legit was arguing with god through my thoughts through my actions there were things you know once the holy spirit speaks to you about something just keep quiet and swallow it because he is the spirit of god he's the one that searches the intents and the thoughts of a person he knows our hearts he knows what is inside us i can't know myself better than the holy spirit i can know myself better than um um let's say a friend's knowledge of me or my family member's knowledge of me but i can't know myself beyond what the holy spirit or any person of the godhead um knows about me or says about me right and i started arguing with him and then i went through, like i'm just going to do this video in faces so i went through that phase where i started praying asking god to show me my heart review the state of my heart review my intentions and my motives then he shows them to me and i'm like boy no that's not me like i'm that is not me don't push this identity on me it's not me i'm a healed person don't you hear me i'm preaching i'm not this heavy and i moved to that stage where he brought it to life that yeah i was indeed heavy and i saw myself and some way somehow i think i've always known this but i didn't want to address it that's a stem from the place where people say all manner of things about you yeah like it subconsciously enters your mind and you think you are well and you know there are things that are there that you've not confronted things that you need to confront right but you still don't do them so fast forward to me realizing like, this is what i was one day he's like okay you are hurt about this particular issue and you've not moved past it and i'm like bro i'm not i i think when we go to heaven i'll be one of those people that will get awards for like going back and forth with the holy spirit i think so he mind you this is not a one day thing this is like two years that i'm trying to put into one video he's like okay there's this particular issue you have not moved past i want you to talk about it if you're an old subscriber i'm sure you remember i came one time and i was like i'm led to now get into vulnerable videos um very honest videos not to say i wasn't doing that then by god's grace i was doing that but it's like this is all he wanted me to do to be vulnerable with everyone to be plain to be more honest to not really cover up or mince my words in certain areas and so i'm like okay sure i'm going to do that because i'm not hurt it's not paining me like i'm not pained at all 
So I get up one day, the day before my birthday in 2020, and I sit down before the camera. I do some little makeup, get ready, wear one of my favorite t-shirts, pink, some pink t-shirts with a puppy on it, and I sit in front of the camera. I really remember sitting in this point, this particular corner of the room, and I just started filming. And less than two or three minutes into the video, I realized that I was messing up. Nothing I was seeing was making sense. Number one, I couldn't even be very honest about the story I was trying to share. Number two, my heart was heavy. I could literally feel it like my heart was like boiling. Not in anger, but I don't know what it was. I don't know what emotion it was, but I could feel it like in my chest, like something is boiling in my chest. It's like words want to come out, things have not said, things have not voiced out. And before I realized, I just started crying. And it started out as just tears, and it landed in like weeping. I was wailing, and I just stopped the video. That was the day before my birthday last two years. I just stopped the video, I couldn't film. And when I ended the video, he didn't say anything. I also didn't tell him anything. I ended the video, packed my things, and went home. Because my mom and I shared the same birthday. She gave birth to me on her birthday. So I left and went home to go and celebrate my birthday with her and the rest of my family. From that period, the next phase I went through was just a phase of silence. I wasn't talking. I wasn't saying anything. I wasn't doing anything. I just kept quiet didn't tell anybody just like I don't I didn't want to talk I just wanted to be quiet like just don't say anything just be there just become normal vibes and I think in that period I was barely praying because I was so shocked I was like I don't know what's happening <laughs> I was so shocked at myself I hope I don't cry because I literally can feel the tears behind my eyes so talking much I was just quiet and kept to myself this was around the COVID period, so it was okay. Like, you, know, you, were, you didn't have to be anywhere, you didn't have to go anywhere. And I was just like addressing issues with the Holy Spirit. And I just started to reflect about myself, reflect on where I've been, what I've been through, certain painful things I've been through that I thought I had moved past. COVID gave us a lot of time to think and not do too much. For me, I had a lot of time to think and I was staring at myself and boy, I stunk. Honestly, I had a very dirty mind, a very, I was broken, like I was so broken, I was tired, I was in pain, I was in such pain that it's inside, right, but it's so tangible, I could feel it, it was weighing me down, I was heavy, I was hurting, I was lost, like, and it's like all these things were emotions that were sitting down somewhere in me, but I had blocked them. I wasn't giving it attention. So I went through that period where I was just like looking at myself, who I am, who I've become. And after that long period of silence, I had to go back to God because what can I do? Like, what can I do? <laughs> There's nothing I can do. So um, before that, I moved to that period, right? I must say that um, I realized I just had to step back. I didn't even realize I had to step back. It was just a natural thing. I didn't plan it. If someone had ever told me I'll be away from YouTube for this long, I would have laughed. Like, I wouldn't have even believed it in any way. Aside everything, YouTube to me is a ministry. It's it's something I do with passion. I love it. I love the family God has given me here. I love sitting down here and just blessing somebody's life. It, it gives me so much joy. It's an honor for me, truly. Like, but I, I, I just stepped back. I didn't contemplate it. Like everything was so, so bad. I knew I had to step back. And I'm that person that has always been like, I don't want to do anything from a point of, I don't know if there's a, a word for like the opposite of genuineness, right? But And I don't want to use fake because I wasn't fake. I just wasn't as true as I could have been or as I should have been. I just knew like in that state, there was no way I could come out here and film a video, encourage someone, or just like share God's word because like there were things I had to fix, there were mindsets that were so filthy, the devil had taken over them and had formed like strongholds, I was so proud, I didn't even realize it, 
if someone was to even compliment me or say oh pray god is doing something good through you in my i wouldn't tell them but in my head i'll say yeah of course like what do you expect like we're praying we're fasting like you're supposed to do something <laughs> because of that i think i was very cautious of bringing people into my life because i felt like uh, if they had to get into my life they would realize how filthy my mind works like they would realize how um imperfect i am another thing was i have a very unbalanced life like there are certain areas in my life i'd like to film that in another video where i've lacked balance and i think that's a big disservice to the kingdom of god because you can portray god like i mean i'm on fire everybody knows that that's good but god is interested in me as a person like that's what he taught me through that phase he's interested in the me that nobody sees He's interested in the me when I'm here and I'm on my own. He's interested in the me that is doing business. The me that um, is not in front of people that I have to be accountable to. Like he's interested in the me that is 100% accountable to him. If there's someone by you that knows you, right? Because of accountability, there's a way you live. But when you go to a place and nobody knows you, like, how am I going to behave? I think he was very concerned about that side of my life, right? Yeah. In those beginning periods of going back to him, I was not even praying much, not doing much. I was literally just surrendering. Everything I used to pray for was, Father, have mercy on me. Like, have mercy. I don't even know what to pray about. The issues are compounding everywhere I go. If I'm to speak to anyone, they just keep saying things about myself. Like, they don't even realize it, but they may be saying something um general and then i realized that oh that's me and it's not a good thing so i felt like he was just beating me left and right left and right tossing me around and through that period to now i mean god is not over he's not done teaching me not done training me not done breaking me but i think i have just accepted him all of my life just like david God somehow brings everything I go through in the public. He trains me in the public eye. He has never, I was trained like in front of a lot of people. Growing up, someone can refer to a period of my life. People have always been there when certain things were happening, right? And so I'm not surprised um, he kind of scammed me into creating this channel and training me here, but I'm glad I don't know how else these things would have come to light without YouTube and yeah, this is where we are. I'm thankful to God. Now I'm trying to find balance into my life and trying to put things in order. In that period, I mean, after the COVID year where things just literally, whatever, <laughs> right? After that, um, he gave me something i feel like i've not said it this way to anybody before but i feel like god took something from me and then he gave me something and what he gave me requires me to 100 percent lean on him this is a very beautiful thing he has given me it's like a, a car and he has to be the engine i can drive it but if it is going to move right he's got to be in it I've got to consult him and I'll tell you about that later. Um, yeah, this is the reason why I've been away. Um, a lot of looking at myself, a lot of searching, a lot of asking God questions, a lot of believing God to go in other things. And I'm back on YouTube. I don't know how I'm going to balance this with the life I have now. I'll do another video where I reintroduce myself because trust me, it does not like something like those cliche things, new year, new me. Frankly speaking, I'm a different person. A lot of things have changed. I'm allowing my personality to show in my core. I'm not trying to be someone else. So I'd like to reintroduce myself. If there are any questions you'd like to ask me, please leave them in the comment section. This one is important. If you've watched to this point, Charlie, ask me a question. I'll answer in another video. I'll start posting on my Instagram. So if you're not connected, Please follow me. My Instagram username is vibrant underscore faith underscore. I cringe when I hear the name now because I'm going to change it. I don't know what yet, but I'm going to change it to something that is more me, that is more feminine, that is more precious. Okay, that's my alarm, my timer telling me that I've exceeded 20 minutes. So thank you so much. And my advice to everybody 
that would see this is your story is your story own your story regardless of where you've been regardless of what you've done it's still your story and if you don't own your story the devil is going to own your story you are only authentic when you own your story when you tell your story and you own it that is authenticity and that is vulnerability and that is what our generation needs now we need people that are going to be very honest going to be very real going to be very plain we are not like watering down the truth we are not perfect the best of us is still a human being but we are growing towards perfection so as we rise as we fall as we try to get to that goal we still keep it in mind that the best of us is still a human being but there's a chance to reach that goal like the desire to reach that goal the discipline to reach that goal must be there right so um, anyway i think that sounded like a poem but um yeah that's all i want to say thank you if you watched to this point thank you so much i really don't take it for granted god bless you and i forgot to add this but in that period like after the prayer and those things when i started to get on my feet i ended up into like some things that made me realize that i'm really not perfect i am not who they say i am charlie i'm far from that like no matter how far god will lift me no matter where i'll stand no matter what i'll become I would still be a person that is in need of God. I think regardless of everything that has happened through that period to now, the good and the bad, like I've reached that point where I know, I really know what I did, but now I know that my life is attached to God, like it or not. Even if I'm to double into something, I can't do without my God. That's it. Nothing would be too expensive for my God. Nothing will be too expensive for me to trade for this work I have with God. If you watched to this point, thank you so much. I really appreciate you and I'm thankful to God for your life. Join me as we get more honest, get more vulnerable and get as real as we can be by God's grace. I'm asking that you all pray for me that I'd have boldness, a lot of boldness to walk this journey, to own my story, to tell my story in its truest and realest form ever. This video is actually a gift for me. I don't know if it would impact somebody or whatever, but for me, it's just a video of freedom. And it's a happy feeling in my heart. I can't control it. Thank you so much. And God bless you. Please like, comment, subscribe, share. Do all those things that we do to make channels grow. Send this to your friends, your family, and everybody. And I really appreciate it. I want to read the comment section with a lot of joy. Right? I don't want to read two comments. Please please leave comments okay let this video be visible thank you so much and god bless you i love you so much and god loves you more as always wherever you stand whatever kind of you find yourself in make sure you bring god's glory make sure you are um a ray of god's glory in jesus name thank you so much bye <laughs>